I'm Big Cal and welcome to my world. It is the end of the month, which only means one thing. DIY Gaming Box time! And yes, it is the first DIY Gaming Box of 2021. I've done a whole year of them already. Don't forget, if you missed it, to check out my top five favourite pickups from the first year of DIY Gaming Box. I'll link that below somewhere. So yes, 2020 ended with one final kick in the balls, or punch in the balls, whatever. You can't see me like I can't get it up that high. Yeah, because this lovely wheel here that of course I spin at the end of every episode, whatever number it lands on, correlates with a game console that I have to buy for with a budget of £25. At the end of 2020 it landed on the Wii U. Now, I love the Wii U. In fact, I've currently got it set up here, which I already had set up before I got this game because I was playing something on it anyway. I like the Wii U. It's a good system. It just had terrible, marki ma marking, terrible marketing and a severe lack of third party support. Yeah. But the problem is, I own most of the, uh, mo most of the games that you would actually want to own on the system. Got them all down here. I've got the Bayonetta 1 and 2, Lego City Undercover, Super Mario Maker, Captain Toad, Donkey Kong Tropical Freeze, Kirby and the Rainbow Paintbrush, Mario Kart 8, New Super Mario Bros U plus Luigi U DLC, Nintendo Land, Pikmin 3, Rainbow Legends, Shovel Knight, Sonic and All Stars Racing Transform, Splatoon, Super Mario 3D World, Super Mario, uh, sorry, Super Smash Bros, um, Star Fox Guard, better than the actual Star Fox game that we got, Xenoblade Chronicles X, Yoshi's Woolly World, Zombie U and a few others. What's missing from that? Apart from Zelda games, very little. So I had a, a very, very, very difficult time trying to find a game for this month. A lot of people are looking forward to this one because they want to see just what the hell I managed to get. So, shall we dive in? Wii U, the AI gaming box, first one of 2021. Where are they? Come on! Ah, yes! One game! One game this month cost me a total of £24.99, leaving me with a whole one penny to spare. The one game that I would really want for the system that I didn't own and managed to get it for that price, it usually goes for a bit higher as well. That is... Game & Wario. Finally grabbed this one. It is a game that I have actually been wanting, but like I said, it's usually been more expensive, so I was very lucky to find it for £24.99 to fit one penny within my budget. And obviously, it's kind of like, you know, the Wario game, WarioWare series, where you, you know, depending on what system it is, you'd use motion controls or touchscreen controls or you'd have a gyroscope and move it and twist it and shake it or whatever. And this one, of course, is no different. It uses mainly the touchpad on the uh, the Wii U gamepad as well as the camera and things like that for aiming. But it's also got the whole game part of it, you know, the game and watch series. Like, yeah, so it's a nice blend of the two, apparently. To me, it just seems like another WarioWare game, but yeah. And I have to say, after playing through some of it to record game footage for this video, I'm an absolute blast with it. It is fun as hell. Absolutely fantastic. I've only played, I think, the first two or three mini games on it. One was firing arrows. We have to hold down the thing, try and aim, and then flick the arrows away and try and kill all the enemies in one. There's a boss battle. Then there's another one where you have to take photos of people, you have a set of people that you have to take photos of and you get you know, more points depending on you know if they're framed properly, the right size and things like that. Some hidden people to try and capture for extra points. Yeah, and there's quite a few games in it. Does it tell you how many? Yeah, 16 different games in it. I only played two, maybe three. I think I only record footage for two. But yeah, I had a blast playing it and I'm going to play some more and try and unlock all of the games in it because it is fantastic. So I am very, very pleased with my purchase for this month for Wii U. Now that does bring uh, a slight problem. Now that I own this on the Wii U, what's left? 
nothing basically. The three or four other games that I could potentially get for the Wii U are available on other systems for cheaper. So yeah, I prefer to get them on other systems rather than the Wii U. So that brings us to spinning the wheel for next month and there have been some changes. The Wii U has been removed. So I printed out another cover. The Wii U, you can see it, is no longer there. It has been replaced with the PlayStation 4. Because the PlayStation 4 now is the previous generation. The PS5 is out now. And you can get a ton of really good PS4 games for under 25 quid. You can get two or three sometimes depending on what you're looking to pick up and there's a vast library of games out there so hopefully I won't have any issues there. So let's spin this nice new wheel and we'll see what I have to get for February of 2021. Thank Christ it's not going to be the Wii U. <sighs> Come on get off. There we go. Flip the camera around. Let's move over to the area. Right, spin the wheel and we'll see what it lands on. <sighs> I would really like it to land on the zero just once. Give me my, give me a choice. Come on, come on. What's it going to be? Ooh, close but not quite. Number 12 and that is... The Nintendo GameCube. Oh boy, <laughs> if anything this is slightly, barely, only just above uh, the issues with the Wii U. Not in the sense that there's nothing I want for it, but in the sense that now everything is bloody expensive. I was very lucky last time to get uh, five GameCube games for the £25. Not going to be that lucky this time, I know it, um, so it might only be one game again. Maybe two at a push depending on what I go for. So yeah, let me know down in the comments below what you thought of my one pickup for this month and let me know uh, what I should look out for for the GameCube for next month. So I'm Big Cal, thanks for watching and I'll see you again next time.